Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to uh, show you and I'm going to teach you how to uh, retrieve data from uh, from API server. Uh, that, that is the best, best way that I'm going to uh, teach you how to retrieve data from API server. So here is an example of uh, retrieving data from API server and you know this is a blazer that is in front end app you can say but just i want to give you uh, or you can say that's just i'm uh, going to teach you uh, about the repositories so here we have a categories and list of the categories just i want to retrieve from the api and this is loading wait for some times and after some times it will be loaded on blazor so these are the categories that is uh, getting from the api server and you can see here we have an API just check it in the uh, network tab and just refresh it and you can see here we have an APIs okay so it's uh, you know a list of categories like 200 status code is there and there we have a categories and these are the categories okay so uh, just wait for some time and uh, I will teach you how to do this and the best way to get uh, using the template class so you know uh, first of all just I want to show you uh, what is the categories list so here we have a server project or you can say that API projects so here we have a controller and here we have a categories a list of categories actually uh, use application DB context right there and you know that here we have a uh, just I want to get the request of this uh, endpoints and endpoints is api slash controller name and the controller name is category so the endpoint is api slash categories and request that is in the form of http uh, get or you you can say that http request and this request is sent back to the client in the form of list of categories so here we have a categories before going to much more detail, just I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to tell you about my membership course. Uh, in membership course, just pay 800 rupees and you get uh, video tutorials on .NET Core and a project-based course. Just I provide you project-based course on .NET Core, Dapper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit, uh, .NET Blazor, and continue this membership because I will provide you day by day video tutorials on .NET Core and rest of the technologies in just 800 rupees. Uh, you, uh, not one, the all are actually have in 800 rupees or just $1.15. It's a one time payment only, one time payment that is 800 and you will get .NET Core from beginning to advanced video tutorials and project based tutorials on .NET Core, Dapper and rest of these technologies. So just fill the form, uh, just uh, fill the Google form and uh, join this membership. Okay. If you belong to other country, just pay by the people. And if you belong to India, just pay 800 rupees by UPI IDs. Okay. And uh, your Google form link given in the description below of this video. I want to teach you how to post data uh, in a database table with the help of uh, uh, with the help of endpoints. So first of all, uh, what thing actually I sh uh, I should use in a client project? So just you can say it's a create method and uh, in a create method just add category like uh, that is the category that is the gadgets okay so I want to submit the gadgets like that and uh, what should I uh, take in your client project in a client project must to add that class that is the server response helper class that is the type of template okay why we why we use uh, that class here because this class is actually get any types of things like uh, is success status code 200 301 401 and uh, 415 and 500 
so that type of status code that written back to the client by the server so here we have a t response server response that is the http uh, uh, response and http response message also we have so three properties actually we have inside it okay the next step is to do that is the i http service class that is the template type uh, actually interface and in this in interface you can see this types of things that actually just i want to post the data into the api so we need url as well as the data but i don't know what types of data we have so here we have a template type data and but you just define it here also okay but you know what type of data actually you receive so here we have a server response helper but you know that class is responsible to get the data uh, so server response helper and the type is uh, undefined so just you can add object type okay so in a server in a server project we have a categories you know and just i want to post the categories okay so here we have a post the categories so just re receive a categories so that class is actually hit http service class because i http service class have a post method but uh, we don't know what types of data actually we have so that type of data i mean to say that category data so here we have a category so you can just use a template type so you can just use category and product and cart etc you can just use uh, it's a template type so here we have a category now in http service class we use http client to post this category into the api so just serialize the category so here t is what that is the category so and written back to the integer type things so here we have an integer that is the category id so in the http service we have a object type that is integer so object is actually get any types of things like integer list of the data and the uh, simple object so first of all uh, serialize the data by using the json serializer dot serialize data and after that convert the data into the string content with the help of unique encoding dot utf8 application oblique json http client dot post async with the url and string content and response back to the class that is the new um, server response helper and object so the first thing is to uh, server response that is the type of in, is the status code server response and response message so that is the http response message is here so you can say here we have the first one is response is is the status code that is 200 301 any types of status code you will uh, receive receive in the from the server so the server response that is null and response that is the response message okay so by using the http service class okay now the next step is to do to call a repository and that is the repository is what that uh, in a client project we have a repository that is the category repository so here we have a i category repo so task create category and inside it you can just put it category and inside the category repo where we have a category so http service just call it and with the post url and category because you have to define the class actually here so there is no need to use it here and response back to the success message and that is response so that is the best way to use uh, to access the uh, category and as well as retrieve the category as well as post the category into the web api so that is the best way you can use it in your uh, project so that is the clean architecture you can say Thank you very much for watching this video and uh, please don't forget about this because it's a uh, membership must to uh, join this membership by filling that just simple form okay and form uh, link given in a description box so check the video description box to get the link of membership